Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some StarMade station reviews. Today we are taking a look at the Spaceport by Marinello. And as you can see, it is a very bright, civilian-oriented trading guild station. And I have to say, the overall design of this structure as uh, on the large scale is really paying off from the beginning. I mean, just look at the, the buildings on the top, the skyscrapers that are going in. Uh, at an angle from where they are structured or attached to the station that's just an amazing idea because when you think about it in space you're not limited to these types of you know these uh, these types of constrictions that you would on a planet for example gravity <laughs> you don't have to worry about gravity in space so much uh, mostly because it doesn't exist so you know uh, you can uh, you can put up a building on a complete diagonal and it really changes you know what we think about you know these types of structures that it's something we have not really experimented much uh, so far in the community or at least i haven't seen this happen so much with space stations uh and certainly not the ones that we've seen so far in the uh the reviews that i've been doing but uh it, it's really quite amazing already uh and i i like the fact that you know there's these little lights indicating that you know this this structure is larger than you may uh uh, view it as. Uh, it's uh, From here it looks like this is a city in space embedded on this structure. You know, these skyscrapers are just loaded with people and it's busy. It's, you know, there's stuff going on. I don't know if they mirrored this or what, I'm not gonna bother to check, but real quick we'll go over the external details. They've got some uh, orange lights down here which is a bit interesting because uh, uh, I don't know, it just it seemed almost out of place, but I really don't mind it. It's so subtle you don't really have to worry about the orange interfering with any of the rest of the color scheme, especially the way that they set it up on top of these little connection areas. Uh, the hangar entrances, I believe they are, right? I uh, got some Greeble. I will say that it could certainly do with adding uh, these uh, uh, some sort of connecting structure here. I mean, this thing appears to just be floating. Yeah, it really does just appear to be floating. And I think the uh, builder would certainly get uh, a benefit out of connecting this to the structure because that kind of looks a little unfinished. Uh, so moving around we can see that there's uh, some designs in here which is really nice. It's not symmetrical or at least that doesn't appear to be the case so far but that's really neat. It you know it, it breaks up that hull. It's a little different than the designs going on with the rest of the station but I suppose if it was uh, you know embedded like this or engraved into the hull like this then, uh, you know, maybe it's just there purely for uh, aesthetics and not because it's actual Greeble. Uh, Greeble being this stuff up here, which is like extra paneling and, uh, you know, machinery uh, added to the top of the building. Things like air conditioners, for example. Uh, of course, air conditioners do not ex exist in space stations, or they shouldn't be attached in this similar fashion. If you can hear the wind, I apologize. I'm gonna shut the window. It's very windy. Sorry. <laughs> not to interrupt or anything I just uh, didn't want you guys listening to the wind while I talked uh, so we have you know Greeble here uh, some you know random details it does look like this is a path this blue line and I think it is because there is a door over here looks like blue indicates some sort of path on this uh, this roof here or the top of this structure there's a uh, an antenna here be really neat if we could get these flipped on its side because uh, that's now a, a fixed thing. We don't have to worry about uh, rotating our light rods when we place them down and turn off the light. Um, got some interesting patterns, some armor plating, so to speak, uh, right here, which is pretty neat. I will say that I would like to see this fully wedged out. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't wedge this. I mean, somebody eventually is going to come behind the structure itself and see that it's not wedged. I can see that they've paid attention to it by placing these corner blocks, but um, from behind, it just it looks unfinished. Even if it's you know not the uh, not where we would be viewing it from, you know, it's not uh, that back side is not uh, the important side. That being said, it's still it still uh, is uh, justifiable to you know bother with wedging anything that needs it. And there is absolutely no reason for this to. Uh, be not wedged. So, real quick, we will fly in through one of the hangars. I would like to say that 
the effect they've pulled off with these uh, these beacon blocks is something I haven't seen before because if you back up a little bit it really looks as if you know people have you people use the water uh, effect uh, especially on servers that allow the water to be uh, non collidable you can go through the water and they use it in conjunction with lighting to give it some sort of force field effect and they've pulled this off with just beacons alone it almost actually looks like there is a force field of some sort in front of you as you enter this thing and that's you know because of the lighting effects of course I've docked my ship and there's the build block so coming in we can immediately see that there's a lower hangar there's a whole bunch of logic set up here so that you can see whether the uh, the hangar is occupied or not uh, it's sand size ship uh, for you there docked oh it's even got trading guild colors now that is excellent attention to detail right there just the fact that they have put on some trading guild colors with the blue and even replace the interior lighting wow that is that's phenomenal I was not expecting that uh, we have a, what appears to be a gas pump although I'm not sure you want to be firing a cannon into a ship but uh that's okay <laughs> um, and that again is really phenomenal detail right not something I have seen so far in the submissions and that is a really neat little feature something that you know you would expect to find in a hangar uh, this right here looks a little unfinished, although I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, I do like this, you know, grating that goes around. Let's uh, first go up and see the rest of the structure, right? So we have uh, another docking area and some windowed areas. I assume this is all uh, airlocked, sealed off. Ooh, got some couches and some tables in here. Okay. Got a build block. Is that the undetonator? No, that's a red light. Uh, we have some sort of lobby reception area. Uh, lots of gravity modules and elevators here. What's this? Built by Marinello. The Shibai. Oh, he joined my stream one time. Oh, well, hello, Shibai. Uh, nice station you got here. <laughs> Let's go up the elevator. On to the next floor. Ooh, got some factories here. I almost feel like I've seen this design elsewhere, and I'm not sure if that's entirely true, but I really think this is a neat way. Uh, you know, it almost feels as if there's like an actual production line chugging these things out, and that's really great. Uh, I wonder if these things actually perform some sort of function. It doesn't look like they do, they're just there for show, and that's okay. Got some plex storage, got some massive lighting, and you know, as simple as the ceiling is, I'm not too concerned with it, because honestly, it's so high up that I'm not going to be looking at it to begin with. Right? If I'm if I'm down here messing around, I'm gonna be clearly more interested in these machines that are, you know, uh, these factory setups, and the the simple roof ceiling thing that they've done is, you know, that's fine. That's that's good enough. There doesn't have to be some crazy thing going on on the roof. It's so high above you that you will not be paying attention to it anyway. So, looks like we've got other factory systems set up with the recent update that may need to be adjusted. Just putting that out there. I they're running into glass? Is there... A, okay, I'm an idiot. Uh, let's go up even further. The next floor features uh, either aesthetically pleasing uh, crystal placement or some sort of reactor. I'm going to go with a reactor because I'm seeing some power modules behind this glass here. Although this is a pretty neat and interesting way of implementing the, uh, the crystals into a build. This goes out into the upper area where we were before, the outside. And that does as well. <clears throat> there is, of course, more to this station. So, up here we have quite a busy room with a whole bunch of control uh, desks, some uh, you know terminals and stuff everywhere, some uh, computer banks and whatnot. Now, this this is definitely you know the air traffic control for this station, no doubt about it. And you know it again, lots of simple concepts, but they've executed these really well. You know, there's. There's even depth added to their computer banks, which is really neat. They've even thrown in cables connecting it, which is amazingly awesome. <laughs> uh, so, really well done. Uh, I don't think there really is anything else you need to put up here. And that's that's just great. That That is a really awesome room right there, actually. I really like that. Uh, so far, this room, this room right here, and the uh, room we just came from are well, two of the best rooms that I've seen so far. So is there more to this station? Now, I believe there is. Let's see if we can find it. We'll go over here into this structure. 
lots of lighting. Ah, this is where the Plexon detonators are, it would appear. Some sort of cloning pod. But, this is all that's in here. Now, this is a little interesting design they've got going on in the wall. I'm not sure if this block is missing or if it's intentional that they uh, placed the, the design like that. I am liking the uh, purple color. Indicates that, you know, maybe something different is going on in these rooms, such as cloning processes. And I have a feeling the same is happening. Oh no, this room is actually empty. No, it's not. I'm lying. I'm a big liar. Um, is there anything else going on in this station before I can discontinue the review? Okay, so it does look... Ooh, here's some logic. <laughs> it does look as if that's it. There isn't actually anything going on in these sections of the station, although there appears to be a massive array of shield rechargers and power systems inside that uh, area. So, <clears throat> uh, as much as I love the interior of this station, you know, the interior was really well done, especially with the lobby and the air traffic control area, I still feel with having this much of a civilian appeal, a civilian aesthetic, I wish there was an actual civilian area. It, it feels like, you know, I walk in, I get recloned, and I walk out. There's nowhere for me to relax, there's nowhere for me to enjoy TV. There's no rooms, there's nothing, and I think, you know, you've Marinello certainly got the place to put all of that inside some of these structures. I mean, just look at this. This is a massive area for you to put a few rooms, uh, and I think it would have paid off to somehow find a way to implement that. So I'm going to give the interior an 8 or a 9 out of 10, just because of that. Uh, I am I was really honestly expecting civilian amenities, amenities when I walked into this station, and I haven't found as many as I thought I would, so that's a bit of a letdown, but that's okay because, honestly, the exterior and interior design overall, they're like a 9 out of 10. There's a really awesome concept. There are some places where it needs some work, such as the wedging. It's not a widespread problem, so I'm not going to, you know, give you a lower rating for that, Murinello, but let me tell you, you've got something with this, and I definitely want to see, you know, even more stuff added to it, because I have no doubt that you can find a way but uh, for now, it's a quite quite an amazing station. Also, it's like fucking 2 in the morning here, so I am sorry if I uh, have not been properly speaking to you this evening. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, that was uh, The Spaceport by Marinello. Uh, subscribe for more uh, if you want to see more of these station reviews, among other things. And uh, I will see you guys for the next station review.